Hello everyone, it's Sharla and I'm here with London. Little baby London. She's sucking away on her pacifier. Yes, she is. She's such a precious little angel. She's in a little rosebud on white. Walker. She's got her little feet crossed. It's hot here in Texas today. Whew, last two nights, they um, were predicting snow, and it was really cold in the 30s. I'm glad I didn't plant my, some of my flowers because it would have been too cold for the little baby flowers. And then today, it's warm. It's going to get up in the 90s by Thursday. So London had to take her little shoes off, and she was so hot, I just threw the blanket off of her, and she's laying here in my lap. In a, on a pillow, one that Linda, my sister-in-law, made. Uh, did some embroidery work on, so pretty. And I've been sorting through baby clothes. Um, Linda needs some for her babies and for little Joe. And uh, I don't have any boy babies now, so as I was sorting, I sent her a bunch and then a bunch to take to the resale shop. I'm going through baby clothes and making piles. Keep baby shop Linda and trying to make some progress on that so let me catch y'all up and then I want to tell you about a giveaway um, mother as you know is living with me now and for the last videos that I made thank you for your comments I read every one of them and I just have not had time to reply um, we have five or six caregivers coming through here today with OT and PT and nurses and private caregivers and it is like uh, really busy. But mother's been in the hospital for a week now. She had to go in for IV therapy for a, a UTI. It seems that one bacteria has taken up residence in her bladder and the only IV that will work is one that is by IV and they couldn't do that here at home. So she'll have to have two weeks of IVs, and she's been in the hospital for a week. And we're anxious to get her home, and she's anxious to get here. And I really do appreciate all your advice, and it is hard. Um, Susan B., you're right, even with help, it is very hard. Not, not taking care of mothers so much as just um, a lot of people in and out of the house and trying to coordinate everything and make sure she has all the medicine and and. At first, I was trying to fix her real good, nutritious meals, salad, vegetables, a meat, and then fruit. Well, comes to find out that the salad didn't agree with her. She doesn't like fruit, and it's come down to just, I'm just going to have to let mother eat what she wants, because, um, you know, this is her last days, and so why not? Uh, I try to remind her to try to eat a little bit more nutritiously, but... We are getting Meals on Wheels for her now, and it's a balanced meal, and she seems to like it pretty good. So, I sneak in a little bit of fresh um, fruit sometimes and some yogurt for her, and uh, she just told me that she just never did really like fresh fruit, and growing up, we had fruit trees, so I, I, I never knew that. <laughs> I'm telling you, my sister said that I need to do a YouTube channel calling Raising Mama, like Raising Mama, you know, because she's now I'm the mother and she's the child. And she said it would be hilarious. She could just set up a webcam and and just the things that we say and the caregivers coming and going. It's, it is quite a circus around here, folks. <laughs> but I'm so thankful that I can do it and I will continue to keep her as long as I can, I hope, the rest of her life. Um, I was out in the garage today looking at baby clothes We've still got boxes out there to unpack because we've only lived here since October. And, oh, here came a pit bull. Now, I, I saw a tag on him, so I think I know where he belongs, and it's right down the street. But it just startled me. Turn around, and there's a pit bull staring at me. You know, the horror stories that you hear, I know that they can be just as gentle as lambs, but it just startled me for a minute thinking about not knowing if that was a, a mean pit bull. So... I said, go home, baby, go home, and he turned around and went. <laughs> so I was happy of that, because Ski's umpiring. He's 
You know, he loves his softball, and he's doing umpiring tonight. The field's five minutes from the house. It's so nice. It gives him some time to be by himself and to exercise and be with guys and do the guy thing. Um, we've been watching some of the golf tournament, and uh, it's been pretty interesting. Um, I'm getting ready to plant flowers, like I said, and at probably the end of next week, I will start putting out my geraniums and things like that and uh, transplant some monkey grass. And I need to speak to Susan B. about these hostas. I want to plant hostas. I've got a good shady area and I, it's nothing but dirt there. And I want to put hostas. I've never grown hostas. So I've got to look into that and get some of those. And uh, our yard man, the guy that mowed our lawn, he quit, so I think we found another one, though. And um, we lost a little Pomeranian, Tierra. She was passed away in her bed. So now we have three. As you know, my Pomeranians are all really old, and um, it was not surprising. We've lost two since we've been here, but mine usually live to be about 10 or 12, and they're all at least 12. So we have three left, and... Um, we're thankful for the time we had with them. They were really, really sweet pets. Let's see, what else do I know? I'm thinking about um, maybe selling some of these clothes on the internet. Some of the better ones, the, the good brands that we like, um, that look like new. I haven't decided for sure yet. Either that or I'll take them down to Once Upon a Child and sell them. But um, I've got stacks going. I don't know if you can see those stacks on the floor. That's Linda's stack, and I'm just trying to sort through. It's hard to say throw away, uh, sell. You know, I would like to keep everything, but I'm just going to keep my very favorites. And I still haven't got all my babies out. I've got most of them on the shelf, a few more that I've got to get out of the tote. And then I'd like to get that little room set up for, somewhat for a nursery so I can do my videos there. But you know, when mother came, it just, everything revolves around her now and her needs. And it's, she doesn't, she doesn't really like the, to see the reborns. Um, so I try to do that in privacy for her, respect out of, out of respect for her. And things have just kind of come to a halt for me. So um, I need that room set up so I can go in there and do videos in private. But, you know, she wants me here with her. If I go outside or wherever I go, when I come in, she said, oh, I don't like it when you're not in here with me. <laughs> you know, they revert back to children. And she, I guess she gets kind of scared. And uh, even though she's got a caregiver, she wants me close by. Just like I was by her when I was a little girl. And uh, Daddy said that she didn't let me walk until I was seven. <laughs> She was always carrying me. So now I guess I, it's my turn. We have a good time, though. We watched all the uh, To Call the Midwife episodes. And uh, that's the second time we watched them all the way through. By the way, To Call a Midwife comes on Sunday nights at 8 Central. And it started a new season. And tonight will be the second one of this season. And um, I have a little giveaway. If under this video, if you want to be entered into the contest, I'm going to give away this stack of diapers, honest diapers, and I'm going to give away, and this, this is all one giveaway, this blue Suavenex boys, it's a brand new pacifier. Um, I don't have any boy babies anymore, I wish I did, but so I thought I'd give that to someone along with the diapers. The diapers are for a girl, and the, the blue Suavenex will be for a boy. So that's my little giveaway. And all you have to do to enter is say, enter me, and alongside that, write down your favorite character in To Call the Midwife. If you don't know about that, it's a great show. It's all about mamas and babies. It starts out in the 19... 50s and it's coming up on now. I think we're like in almost in the 70s. Um, it's taken in England by a shipyard. It's a very 
true to life, and there's a lot of history in it. But at one time, a lot of us here on YouTube that like Reborns would watch it together and dress our babies in vintage clothing, would make videos showing the vintage clothing. And um, I just love the show. So if you could watch that and just put enter me and tell me your favorite character on there, you'll be entered and we'll end the contest next Sunday night before the Call of Midwife comes on. I will draw the winner. I'll let my husband draw a winner out of a hat. I'll write all the names down and stick them in a bowl and he can draw the winner. Does that sound like fun? So this is just a little tiny giveaway of some things I found when I was going through. I don't even know if people like Suavenex anymore. I'm kind of out of the loop, but it's a pretty blue one. And I know everybody still likes Honest Diapers and this is the cupcake ones. So that sounds good to me and I hope it sounds good to you. Um, I think about y'all a lot. I've made some really good friends in the Reborn community and I hope to become more active and I urge you to become more active. It's an effort, but it is fun. It's a release for me, and it gives me great joy. I still love my babies, and I, I always have one with me. London's been with me for the last few days. She is so precious. She's really sleeping. She took five ounces. She was hungry. She's a big eater. She's a chunk of and um, she ate good, and then she was kind of fussy because she was hot. Now, this is all here in Reborn Land. For those of you that don't know, these are art dolls. They're Reborn art dolls. They come in a blank kit, and the artist puts lots of layers of paint on them and paints the babies just like they would a fine portrait. And they are therapy dolls, and I got involved because I have chronic illnesses, and when I hold them, it gives me um, a good feeling. It releases good endorphins. And also just changing their clothes and and lifting them is good therapy and the community's kind it's nice to have an, a nice community so that's why I do what I do and when we talk about the babies we're role-playing so that's what this is about if you have first time here and you think oh these people are crazy no it's no different than men that collect trains or model cars we're just old ladies I've always played with dolls um, don't you know, you probably remember an aunt or a grandmother or someone making those crochet dolls with uh, the skirt was all crochet. Nothing different. Women have always liked babies and dolls, and I'm no different. I've always loved dolls. And these are no, no ordinary dolls. These take hours and hours and hours to paint and to look realistic, and they do look realistic. So here's the giveaway again. And like I said at the bottom, just put enter me and then tell me who your favorite character is on To Call the Midwife on PBS 8 Central Sunday nights. Thank you. God bless you all. Bye-bye.